uh, Tank uh, uh, boxed Devin Haney. You know, Devin Haney was in good shape. Tank wasn't in good shape, but they worked. And it was it was some crazy work. Today's bombshell revolves around none other than Floyd Mayweather Jr., who has finally broken his silence on the contentious leaked sparring footage involving Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney. In a characteristic display of nonchalance and defiance, Mayweather has unequivocally dismissed allegations of foul play. With a demeanor as composed as a seasoned pugilist facing down an opponent, Mayweather addressed the swirling speculations with a succinct yet impactful statement, cutting through the noise of conjecture with the precision of a well-timed jab. That's right, folks. Let me make this clear. I ain't got time for the drama, Mayweather declared, his words carrying the weight of authority honed through years of navigating the tumultuous waters of professional boxing. All this talk about me leaking sparring footage, it's just noise. I got better things to do than play games. The boxing icon turned promoter spared no punches in his denial, brushing aside insinuations with a dismissive wave of his hand. I don't know where y'all getting this from, but it ain't coming from me. The only thing I did was show Ryan the sparring footage straight up. Everything else is just people talking, Mayweather asserted, his tone laced with the unmistakable confidence of someone who has faced down adversity time and time again. Yet amidst Mayweather's resolute denial, whispers of controversy continue to permeate the boxing community, casting a shadow of doubt over the impending clash between Haney and Garcia. The leaked sparring footage, while unconfirmed, has ignited a firestorm of speculation, with each passing day adding fuel to the already blazing inferno of conjecture. For Haney, the allegations strike a discordant chord, challenging the very integrity upon which the sport of boxing is built. In a world where trust is as precious as gold, the revelation of leaked footage represents a breach of the unspoken code that governs the sanctity of the training ring. I don't care what Floyd says, he can deny it all he wants, but the truth speaks for itself, Haney retorted, his voice resonating with unwavering conviction. I know what I saw, and I know who's responsible. Ain't nobody gonna take that away from me. As the countdown to the highly anticipated showdown between Haney and Garcia continues, the air crackles with anticipation, each passing moment heralding the promise of resolution and the possibility of redemption. In a sport where egos clash and narratives intertwine, the line between truth and fiction blurs, leaving spectators to navigate a landscape where perception often reigns supreme. The saga began with the emergence of leaked sparring footage, followed by pointed accusations and bold assertions. Devin Haney found himself thrust into the center of controversy when old sparring footage between him and Gravanta Davis surfaced, allegedly leaked to his upcoming opponent, Ryan Garcia. The leaked snippet depicted a younger Haney grappling with the relentless pressure of Davis, painting a picture of vulnerability that could potentially be exploited by Garcia in their impending clash. The video of Devin Haney getting his ass knocked out by Tank Davis. I personally seen the video. I think he got mad that I said that. But I personally seen the video. Huh. Thank you. Devin Haney is knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I seen it with my own eyes. Adrian Broner did hop in the ring. Haney wasted no time in pointing fingers, squarely laying the blame at the feet of Floyd Mayweather Jr., the boxing icon turned promoter. In a scathing social media post, Haney lambasted Mayweather as a miserable old man and a hater who seeks to undermine the success of others. The accusations delivered with an unmistakable edge reverberated throughout the boxing community, sparking debates and discussions about the ethics and integrity of the sport. Floyd has been hating a long time. This ain't just start. I held my tongue for years because I respect the greats of the sport. But the dude is a bona fide hater and don't want to see nobody win if he not a part of it. I know he sent Ryan the sparring. I know he gave Ryan those pimp comments to say. Miserable old man tried to stop the fight. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy he revealed himself to the world. Haney's scathing remarks echoed across social media platforms, adding fuel to an already raging fire. The leaked footage, a window into the intimate world of boxing training, carried with it implications far beyond the ring. In a sport where perception is as influential as performance, such revelations can shape public opinion and alter the trajectory of careers. For Haney, the leaked footage represented not only a breach of trust, but also a calculated attempt to undermine his credibility as a fighter. 
As the dust settled, attention turned to the impending clash between Haney and Garcia, two titans of the sport on a collision course for supremacy. Their history, forged in the crucible of amateur competition, adds an extra layer of intrigue to an already eagerly anticipated bout. While they faced each other six times during their amateur days, with each fighter claiming victory three times, their upcoming encounter looms large as a decisive moment in their professional careers. I do feel like Ryan has gotten better since the amateurs, but I don't feel like he got that much better. In amateurs, we were like very competitive. We would go back and forth. Now I don't feel like it would be a close fight with us, Haney remarked, exuding confidence in his abilities and downplaying Garcia's chances of victory. Like, you know, over time, I've just, you know, thrown past him, you know, got, gotten a lot better. Where Ryan kind of, you know, stayed the same. And uh, that's for me to show on April the 20th. But Floyd isn't the only one who's being suspected of leaking the footage. Ryan Garcia is also under Devin Haney's radar. In the ever-evolving narrative between the two fighters, ignited by Garcia's release of a sparring video featuring Haney and Gravanta Davis, Haney responded with a calm and resolute demeanor. Despite Garcia's attempt to provoke him by unveiling footage from a sparring session nearly a decade ago, Haney stood unshaken, showcasing his mental strength and concentration. I made a bet to get in the ring with Tank Davis and it paid off, Haney stated on X, his response reflecting not only his confidence, but also an unyielding belief in his abilities. Haney's nonchalant dismissal of the attempt to disrupt his focus underscores his dedication to his craft and his refusal to be swayed by outside distractions. The verbal sparring between Haney and Garcia, both in and out of the ring, has elevated the anticipation for their upcoming bout. Despite the heated exchanges, Haney's ability to stay composed amidst the verbal jousting underscores his professionalism and single-minded commitment to his preparation. The press conference on Tuesday provided another stage for the verbal duel between the two fighters. When confronted by Devin's father, Bill Haney, about the prospect of retiring if knocked out in the first round, Garcia responded with a pledge, stating, I'll give you my word. This exchange exemplifies the high stakes and intensity surrounding the impending clash, adding an extra layer of drama to the already charged atmosphere. Garcia's decision to unveil footage from Haney's previous encounter with Gervonta Davis, despite Garcia suffering his first career loss in that bout, hasn't rattled Haney. With an impeccable record of 31-0, Haney stands as a rising star in the sport, poised to solidify his position with a victory over Garcia. As long as I'm ready, focused, and training hard, I'm not worried about anything, Haney remarked, reaffirming his commitment to his preparation and his unshakable confidence in the face of external provocations. As the countdown to the April 20th showdown in Las Vegas intensifies, the spotlight on this championship bout becomes increasingly unforgiving. Both fighters are not only preparing for a physical battle, but also engaging in a war of words that adds layers of complexity to the narrative. The unfolding drama between Haney and Garcia extends beyond the squared circle, drawing attention to the dynamics between these two pugilistic talents. The psychological warfare, punctuated by the release of sparring footage and the exchange of verbal barbs, serves to heighten the stakes and fuel the anticipation surrounding their encounter. While Mayweather's denial attempts to put an end to the rumors of leaked footage, the ongoing verbal exchanges between Haney and Garcia keep the controversy alive. The boxing community, fans and pundits alike, find themselves caught in the crossfire of this intense rivalry, eagerly awaiting the moment when these two warriors finally step into the ring. In the lead-up to the bout, Haney remains steadfast, unwilling to let external distractions hinder his focus. His commitment to his craft and his unswerving self-belief paint a picture of a fighter who is not only physically prepared, but mentally resilient. Now let's turn our heads to the claims Bill Haney made about Devin retiring Floyd. And what does Floyd have to say about all this? You're about to find out. In a revelation that adds a captivating layer to the narrative of boxing history, Bill Haney, the father and trainer of Devin Haney, shared an intriguing story about a sparring session that took place between his son and the legendary Floyd Mayweather Jr. According to Haney, this session marked a pivotal moment in the sport reminiscent of other iconic passing of the torch instances in sports history. Speaking to Fight Hub TV, 
Haney shed light on the significance of the sparring session, implying that it played a role in Mayweather's decision-making process regarding potential retirement. Showed the sparring video of him and Devin. Mm. Yeah. What? Mm. Now yeah. why he's showing all this video? Yeah, show the sparring. And it was yeah. six. Oh, it wasn't close. It was like Floyd was looking in the mirror when I told him. How long? And I told him. Yeah. How long was that? It was he suggested that even before Mayweather's bout with Conor McGregor in 2017, there was contemplation about stepping away from the sport, and showcasing the sparring footage with Devin could have provided insights into Mayweather's mindset. It was before the Conor McGregor fight when he finally decided that he could no longer be in the boxing with no real fighters. Devin is the one that snapped that. He knew that the torch had to be passed, and he passed it to Devin. I mean, because it was either it was either force or it is what it is right now. Floyd. He could have stopped, so we should have shown the sparring video of him and Devin, Haney said, alluding to the idea that the footage might have influenced perceptions of Mayweather's capabilities during that time. Haney portrayed the dynamics of the sparring session as transformative for Mayweather, suggesting that facing Devin Haney served as a self-reflective moment. According to Haney, Mayweather realized he could no longer compete at the highest level against formidable opponents, prompting him to acknowledge the necessity of passing the torch to the emerging talents symbolized by Devin Haney. Haney's vivid recounting of the moment evoked comparisons to other legendary instances in sports history, where established icons acknowledged the rise of new talents. Drawing parallels to David Beckham contemplating retirement when faced with a young Lionel Messi and Michael Jordan playing against Kobe Bryant in the All-Star Game, Haney emphasized the gravity of the moment within the broader context of boxing's rich legacy. Reflecting on Mayweather's realization, Haney stated, He finally decided he could no longer be in the boxing with no real fighters. Devin is the one who showed Mayweather he was past it. Mayweather knew that the torch had to be passed. This assertion underscores the role played by Devin Haney in signaling a generational shift within the sport. Moreover, Haney's comments underscore Devin Haney's readiness to challenge anyone in the division, positioning him as the torchbearer for the next generation of boxing greatness. While Haney's account provides a compelling narrative, the actual significance of the sparring session in Mayweather's eyes remains to be revealed, adding an additional layer of intrigue to the story of Devin Haney's ascent in the boxing world. In a swift and unapologetic response to Bill Haney's recent claims regarding his alleged retirement influence, Floyd Mayweather Jr. wasted no time setting the record straight. With fists metaphorically clenched and words sharper than any jab, Mayweather denied all allegations, dismissing Haney's assertions as nothing short of fiction. Let's get one thing straight, Mayweather retorted in an exclusive statement to Boxing Insider. Devin Haney didn't retire me. I retired myself when I damn well pleased. The boxing icon's words reverberated across the sports world, igniting a firestorm of debate and speculation. While Haney's narrative may have painted a picture of Mayweather's supposed vulnerability, the undefeated champion made it abundantly clear that he remained steadfast in his stance. I faced them all from the best to the rest, Mayweather declared, his voice dripping with defiance. Devin Haney, he's just another name on the list. Refusing to entertain the notion of vulnerability, Mayweather emphasized that the only thing he showcased to Haney was a glimpse of skill, not surrender. Let's get the facts straight. Mayweather reiterated. I showed Ryan the sparring footage, not Devin, and even then it was just business as usual. The air crackled with tension as Mayweather's words cut through the ambiguity surrounding the sparring session. While Haney may have attempted to weave a tale of generational transition, Mayweather remained resolute in his conviction. Passing the torch? Please, Mayweather scoffed. The only torch I'm passing is the one that lights the way to my legacy. As the dust settled on this latest chapter of boxing drama, one thing became abundantly clear. Mayweather's legacy remained unscathed, his resolve unyielding in the face of speculation. Despite all the backlash, Garcia continues to talk trash about Devin Haney, unrelenting in his efforts to cast doubt on his opponent's abilities. In a recent interview with Ariel Helwani on YouTube, Garcia doubled down on his decision to expose the debated sparring footage involving Haney and Gervonta Davis, despite Floyd Mayweather's disapproval. Relationship with Floyd, how would you describe like the state of your relationship with Floyd at the moment? We're good, we're cool. I think he's a little mad at me for, you know, 
saying some things that maybe he would thought. I, he didn't tell me to keep things as a secret, so I kind of just started talking. As the date of their anticipated bout approaches, tensions between the two fighters have intensified, both in and out of the ring. Garcia's latest revelations during the interview shed further light on his acquisition of the contentious sparring clip between Haney and Davis. Despite Mayweather's apparent displeasure with Garcia's disclosures, the young boxer maintained that he had not been instructed to keep the information confidential, leading him to speak candidly about what he witnessed in the footage. Detailing the content of the sparring session, Garcia alleged that Haney was significantly impacted by Davis's blows, nearly being knocked out cold. He even mentioned Adrian Broner's purported intervention in the session, suggesting that Broner had come to Haney's aid. I personally saw the video of Devin Haney, he is knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I saw it with my own eyes. Adrian Broner did hop in the ring, Garcia asserted, affirming his version of events regarding the sparring session. However, Bill Haney, Devin Haney's father and trainer, offered a differing perspective on Broner's involvement in the clip. Through a social media post on Instagram, Bill Haney hinted at tensions between Davis's team and Haney's team, implying that the disputed footage remains unreleased due to Mayweather's reluctance. He also addressed Broner's actions during the sparring session, suggesting that the interruption was unwarranted and unprofessional. With more tension brewing between the Tank Davis team and the Devin Haney team, all centering around some footage that Dollar Bill hasn't released yet, Bill Haney wrote, hinting at the unreleased sparring footage and the underlying tension surrounding it. The exchange of allegations and counter-allegations between the two camps underscores the heightened animosity and competitive fervor leading up to their impending showdown. With the fight drawing nearer, both Garcia and Haney appear determined to undermine each other's credibility and assert their dominance in the boxing world. As we draw the curtain on this gripping saga in the world of professional boxing, it's evident that the tensions between Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. have reached unprecedented heights. From the swirling controversies surrounding leaked sparring footage to the verbal jousting and accusations that have captivated the boxing community. It was a one-sided situation um, that I said it was six rounds and it was 6-0, and someone had asked me was that what things that are monumental in your, in your career and things that you noticed that Devin has, has made that loop. The stakes have never been higher. This. If you're not Brian the liar, then you said that you seen Devin get wobbled. If you're not lying, Ryan, you seen Devin get wobbled by Tank on there. Did you see Tank get stopped? And did you see me get paid when Devin, when Devin stopped Tank? As what? the countdown to the highly anticipated showdown between Haney and Garcia continues, the air crackles with anticipation, each passing moment bringing us closer to a resolution. The motherfuckers, and he got the boy here, Ryan Garcia. And I tell him, I say, Leonard Allen, be a Floyd to him. Tell Floyd, let him go. Take your claws out of him. In a sport where egos clash and narratives intertwine, the line between truth and fiction blurs, leaving spectators on the edge of their seats. But amidst the drama and spectacle, one thing remains certain the allure of the sweet science endures. Whether it's the thrill of competition, the pursuit of greatness, or the indomitable spirit of the athletes themselves, boxing continues to captivate and inspire audiences around the globe. And as the spotlight fades and the echoes of controversy dissipate, one thing is for certain. The world of boxing will always be ready to deliver another round of exhilarating action where legends are made and dreams are realized. You have this relationship with Floyd. How would you describe like the state of your relationship with Floyd at the moment? We're good. We're cool. I think he's a little mad at me for you know saying some things that maybe he would thought I, he didn't tell me to keep things as a secret. So I kind of just started talking shit. Like I until next time, keep your eyes on the ring, your spirits high, and your hearts filled with the unwavering spirit of champions. I felt like you know over time I've just you know. Growing past him, you know, got gotten a lot better. Where Ryan kind of, you know, stayed the same, and uh, that's for me to show on April the twentieth. Uh, Tank uh, uh, boxed Devin Haney. You know, Devin Haney was in good shape. Tank wasn't in good shape, but they worked. And it was it was some crazy work. As the journey of Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. continues, 
We'll be here to bring you all the latest updates, twists, and turns in this ever-evolving narrative of triumph and turmoil.